What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a special one for you. It's one that many of you in the comments have been asking for over and over and over again. Um, this one is called Lavender Haze. Uh, I believe this is one of her new songs that she's come out with recently. Um, at least that's what you guys have said in the comments. So I figured we'd go ahead and knock this one out since everybody's been raving about it. Um, by the way, I'm Darian, this is Jeremy, and we are D&J React. Um, we're just gonna jump right into it today. Give you guys exactly what you want. Not make you wait. So let's get it. Let's do it. Maybe I'm in Staring at the ceiling with you Oh, you don't have to say too much Whoa, 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 dude What just happened there? Who is that? That's not her boyfriend. I don't think so either. No, that's so, illegal. That is illegal, dude. So what's happening? Who is that guy? Uh, shouldn't her boyfriend be in the video? That's definitely not her boyfriend. Hold on, wait. Let, let, me, look. let me look it up real quick. Who is the guy in Taylor Swift's Lavender Haze? Okay, here's from USA Today. So it says... Uh, Taylor Swift cast trans model in Lavender Haze music video. Thank you for being an ally. Wait a Wait. minute. What? That dude's a trans? There's no way. That dude's freaking jacked. That dude's ripped. Oh my that, god. That was a <clears throat> trans dude. The beard, dude? He has yeah. a better beard than me. That doesn't make sense, dude. That's a trans model? So, Wait. Trans models supposed to look like women. This is like the most manly dude I've ever seen. Hair I don't. Chest, I'm like so thrown off right line. now. Like he looks like like an Egyptian model yeah, or something like that. I'm really confused. A trans. <clears throat> All right. It says. Uh, let me see. The love interest in Taylor Swift's new Lavender Haze music video is trans model and artist Leif Ashley, wrote writer Ashley Spencer. At a time when trans rights increasingly under attack. This representation is major. Another Twitter user added, having a major pop star like Taylor Swift feature a trans man as a life interest in charting song is is, uh, is, hu is a huge deal. Um, yeah, look at the pictures here. That is crazy. Yeah, the dude's yeah, it's freaking it's jacked, a, it's a man. Trans, it's a trans dude. Yeah, he's like a freaking supermodel, like bodybuilder. <clears throat> like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, good, uh, good for him, man. I he's got no it going idea. on. Interesting. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's different. All right. That just threw me off. I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> so it's, it's not her boyfriend. She's just putting him in here. It's kind of like yeah, the trans the rights activist yeah, whole thing. She's trying she's to back him. Being like very inclusive. Yeah. Gotcha. I guess that's what that he's in there for. All right. Let's keep going, he's guys. Been included. You don't really be into Don't touch him. You have a boyfriend. Don't set him on fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Taylor Swift just cursed. No, I've never seen her curse in any of her songs before. That's she's, new. She's pissed, dude. Because uh, no deal. The 1950 shit they want from me. What does that even mean? I think I think there's a lot of people that have high expectations for her or just expectations in general. Maybe they think that she's supposed to be like this stay at home, sweet, innocent, you know, get in the kitchen, cook clean type of individual. And she wants to be the modern, like, you know, I guess feminist, you know, is it like the, um, for the feminist thing or is it, are, are they talking about the whole uh, trans rights movement? And then like back in the 1950s, like this shit wasn't the, like the norm, you know what I mean? Oh, and now I it's know. like, I, mean, I didn't even see it that way. I was thinking it was more directed at her, you know, 
wanting her to have that persona of being the 1950s woman, stay at home, cook, clean, take care of the kids. Whereas she wants to be the CEO. She wants to be the boss. She wants to like be large and in charge and, you know, live her own life. And at least that's how I'm perceiving it. You guys know this way better than we do. So I'm sure in the comments, you're going to tell us how wrong we are. It says here, um, I skipped a little past the first part, but I've been under scrutiny. You handle it beautifully. All this shit is new to me. So they, are they talking about the new trans rights? Because, I mean, this stuff's like, I mean, it's kind of new in a way. Um, so I feel the lavender haze creeping up on me. Surreal. I'm damned if I do give a damn what people say. That's two curse words now. That's illegal. It really is. This is like, it's giving, it's giving, never mind. All right, let's keep going. Um. Uh, no deal. The 19s, 1950s shit they want from me. I just want to stay in the lavender haze. See right there. 1950s shit they want from me. But I don't I, know if she's singing there, about his life or hers. I think it's about hers. <clears throat> okay. Because um, everybody has so many expectations oh, of her. Here we go. All they keep asking me is if I'm going to be your bride. The only kind of girl they see uh, is a one night or a wife. But then the... I think in her, her life right now, like she's been with that guy for like six years and everybody, I think keeps asking them, like, are you going to have kids? Are you going to get married? So she's like tired of hearing it, hearing about it, you know, like, yeah, true. So I think that's this, that's what this is coming from. So you might be right on the feminist movement type thing where like, she doesn't want to to go that route, but she like, she loves this guy, but I don't know if she's like, she still wants her independence and yeah, kind of be in charge. I don't know if she wants to get married though yet. Um, so I find it dizzying. They're bringing up my history, but yet, but you aren't even listening. Uh, surreal. I'm damned if I do give a damn what people say. No deal. She just repeats basically the same thing over again. Talk your talk and go viral. I just need this love spiral. Get it off your chest. Get it off my desk. Talk, talk your talk and go viral. I just need this love spiral. Get it off your chest. Get it off my desk. And, but then she just repeats the whole thing like over and over again for like well, three months. That's the more. chorus of right, it. Right, so, right. I mean, she's got to repeat. I think it either has to do with the trans rights movement or it has to do with everybody bombarding her with questions about getting married or I think it's the kids. latter. I think it's about everybody bombarding her and having expectations of who she should be. Yeah, maybe. Let's keep going. I just want to say And she smokes. I don't understand what the lavender haze part is about. Yeah, I don't understand the meaning behind lavender haze. Maybe you guys could tell us in the comments what that's all about. I mean, that would be kind of nice to... I feel like lavender haze is like marijuana or something. Like it's some type of weed. Hmm. I don't know. I never thought of it. I mean, she she was smoking a minute ago, but she blew out like purple smoke, maybe. Lavender haze creeping up on me. So, I mean, like maybe the weed is like creeping up on me. Maybe that's a type of weed I don't know about. It's definitely creeped up on me before. Guys, let us know down in the comments what lavender haze means. Um, I'm trying my best here, but I don't understand the lavender haze part. So maybe you guys could update me on that. Would really appreciate it. Guys, also, if you like this content, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Let's keep going. So real. I'm damned if I do Don't touch him. They're too close, dude. I don't like how close they are. You have a boyfriend, Taylor. 
This is unacceptable. This is illegal. Do better. This is illegal, Taylor. Taylor. Come on, man. I expected more from you. Unbelievable. I find it weird, like the whole line about the 1950s, but yet all the decor and the clothing is like late 60s, 70s. That's not 1950s decor? No. Yeah, it is. That's, no, what, that's what it used to look like back then. Dude, I was born in the 70s. No, you weren't. <laughs> this is like all the stuff from bell bottoms and stuff like that. This is all like what they would wear back like late 60s, 70s. So, I don't know. I find it kind of weird that they're wearing all of this, but they're talking about the 50s. I'm not sure, man. Guys, like I said, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> Get it off my Whoa. This is trippy. Trip, trip, trip. That's it. That is it. Yeah, trailer. Rock I on. Love you. Just stay off the guy next time. Yeah, dude, that should be illegal for her doing that. I feel bad for her boyfriend. Is illegal? No, nah, that's he was trans. That wasn't. That wasn't that what that was about. They were just friends. <clears throat> they were just. That was actually good. That was one of her newer songs. I actually liked that. It was. It was clean. Like it was mm -hmm. smooth. Very kind of relaxing. The beats weren't too crazy or anything. Yeah, it was a pretty chill song. Yeah, I like that one. Um, do you know what album that's from? Uh, is this Eras? Is this the Eras album? That I, I don't with? know, but I'm assuming if it's a new song, it would be from Eras. Eras is the new album. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Let us know down below which uh, which album this is on, guys. Um, by the way, I want to say again, crazy that we hit over 500 subscribers, and it's all thanks to you guys. We keep hitting milestone after milestone, and it's it kind of blowing my mind how fast it's going. So again, I appreciate you guys so much, and thank you to our Patreon subscribers. You guys have been amazing. If you guys want to vote on the next songs that we do for the upcoming week, um, go on our Patreon to support us, get those votes in, and let us know what songs you want, and we'll happily do that for you. Um, again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.